We're going to take a look at high pass sharpen and how this can improve the sharpness of your image. Uh, the nice thing is, is that it's uh, selective um, and it will automatically pick the edges for you. Um, let's uh, get on with it. Okay, make sure you're on the uh, image layer, not on a, an adjustment layer. Pick the light filter and pick high pass. Now, it looks a bit odd to start with because you've just got literally a, a grey background. And what you need to do is start in increasing the radius until you start to see the image coming through. So if I move it all the way up, there you go. Anything that we can see now, the sharpness is going to be applied to. So what we need to do is come into a, a, an area and just drop it down until you can just see the edges that you want sharpening. So basically, if you can see it, it will be sharpened. So if I roll out and look at, say, the sky here, it's completely blank. There's no, it won't be applied to that area. So we'll come back in and I'll increase it just purely that, to make it easier for you to see. Now that's great. But what we need to do is change the blend mode. And the one to pick, if you come down a little bit, is linear light. Select linear light. Now we can see what the effect is by turning it on and off. So there's without the sharpening and with the sharpening. Now this is a little bit too much, so I'm going to reduce it down to say around about a pixel. That's generally a good place to start. Try it again, turn it off and turn it back on. And then I'd suggest you just move out slightly so you're not too, too zoomed in and then just try it again and see what the effect is. That's off and now back on. And you can just take a little look around the image and just make sure that's exactly what you want. So that's a little bit softer now when it's turned off. Turn it back on, sharpens up these edges. And what it's basically doing is just blackening down those, those areas, making them higher contrast. Right, it's as simple as that. So we just hit an X and we leave it there. If we did want to take the sharpness away in a specific area, um, let's say this area down here, it's a, also a mask, so just pick your paintbrush, pick, pick a black brush, and you can just paint out the area. Let's just turn the hotness up a little bit, the opacity. I could paint the sharpness off that area. So now when I turn it on and off, you can see the brickwork here sharpening up, but this item is no longer sharpening. Right, let's have a look at another example. This deer here. So again, we'll apply the sharpness. So live filter, high pass. We've got a completely gray background. Bring up the radius. And you can start to see the, the deer's features. You can see that's too sharp. Just bring it back down until you can just about see the areas that you want sharpening. Change the blend mode to linear light. And you can test it by turning the layer on and off. So that's off, back on off, back on, and then just zoom out so you can see the whole image and just try it again. You know, just checking that it's not too much. Now we, you can play with it in this mode so you can see you can see the sharpening that's just over the top too much. You need to bring it back down and to be honest generally I find around one, one pixel is, is the best. So off and back on. 
Same principle if I only want it on the face and nowhere else then possibly the quickest way is to, uh, I'll just dismiss that for the moment, go to layer, invert, that's taken it all off, pick a paintbrush, pick a um, white paintbrush, because this is now completely turned off, it's all black, come in and I can just start, uh, let's say hardness, let's say third, and I can just start painting it on the face itself, for instance. There we go. So I can just increase it in this area. The nice thing is, if I go outside, there is no sharpening here anyway, so you don't get any uh, marks or lines. And I can just bring that in. Let's have another look. Off, back on. And I've only now got the sharpness on the face. Okay, thank you.